define, measure, analyze, improve and control, and uh, he has done with define and measure. So that means you got an idea about the uh, objective of the define phase, objective of the measure phase, and then the deliverables, and then the key key steps inside each phase. And not only that, few important tools and techniques also, you got an idea. Right, so keep it that pending, it definitely will continue on uh, the remaining phases also. And now in the morning, I was talking to all of you about Six Sigma. We understood that Six Sigma is a defect prevention technique. It's a metric, it's a methodology, it's a way of management and it is a philosophy. Similarly, let us understand uh, lean also a little deeper. The focus of lean is to eliminate the waste. When I eliminate the waste, my cycle time of the operation will come down. When my cycle time of the operations come down, my lead time will come down. That means my deliveries will happen faster. And as a result, the number of cycles of the business will increase. So that will multiply my business, right? So the lean philosophy is, lean is all about identification and elimination of <laughs> wasteful activities from our business process. When I identify and eliminate the wasteful activities, my process will transform from its current state and will reach a state called future state. Right In the future state, your lead time will be minimum. In the future state, your lead time will be minimum. Or in other words, the lead time of your uh, no, operations will be simply equal to value adding time. Lead time of the operation simply equal to the value adding time. It's it, uh, For example, suppose you no know, afternoon, we started by 2.15. Now it is 4.30. Uh, 4 that means uh, how many minutes in between? 2 hours, 15 minutes. So 120 plus 15, 135 minutes. Do you think all 135 minutes were spent productively? Within the 135 minutes, definitely you know, we had 10 minutes break, am I right? So 135, 10 minutes break. Remaining uh, productive time possibilities, only 125 minutes. So this 10 minutes which we spent for the tea, is actually you no know, in uh, according to the you no know, the uh, goal of the session it is considered not productive or otherwise we call it non value adding similarly anything you are doing if some of the activity what you are doing is not actually you no know, uh, productive with respect to the goal goal of your activity that is called non value adding or let us take one more example and imagine you want to uh, you want to withdraw money from a bank. You want to withdraw money from a bank or withdraw your salary. 10 years before, one of you tell me, how did you used to withdraw your money, um, withdraw your salary from a bank? And then you want to you know, pay to you know, some biller. It may be your house owner for the rent or it may be a provision store. For him, you want to pay the bill, pay for the provisions. And one of you tell me, how did you withdraw the money and make payment? 10 years before, not today. I check withdrawing from the bank by uh, check exchange. Yes, you withdraw from the bank. So, is that the bank is just opposite your house? No, no, sir. Yeah. No. So, no. so, before that, you have to go to the bank, right? Maybe you will take a vehicle and go to the bank. And then, once you go to the bank, will you be asked to fill up any form? Yes, yes. correct. Yes, you fill withdrawal up. form you need to yeah withdrawal form you need to fill up and need to submit withdrawal form you need to fill up and then you will be standing in some queue. Correct. Yes, you will be standing yes. in queue or you will be waiting. Cash counter, yeah. Yeah, you will be waiting for your turn and then you go to the cash counter, collect the currencies, count it, come back and then you know pay your house owner and pay your provision. This is how you know the payments are made. You no, know, with respect to the money withdrawal and payment. Are you doing all these things today? If you want to pay, you know, the rent or you want to pay for the provision, are you doing it in the same manner? Line. No. Why? Because a better way of doing the same work exists now. And so you switched it to the better way of doing. Am I right? All that, that means all that we have discussed right now so far are simply non-value adding because nothing we are doing now. We mm -hmm. are not going to the bank. We are not filling up the form. We are not standing in the queue. Even we don't see the currencies. Am I right? Even we don't see the currencies. But still, we are able to make the payment. 
if a better way of doing a work exists then all that what you are doing in your older way are called what wasteful activities this is the lean philosophy so earlier process how much time it was taking you no it was taking you to make the payment near about 2 to 3 hours right sometimes half day sir minimum half day sometimes you could have applied leave just to withdraw your salary and no pay all your no the pen, pay, pay, payment pending but now it is not half a day it is just a matter of clicks it is just a matter of clicks you open the smartphone press four buttons or five buttons now your job is done so what was taking four hours five hours has now become just four or five clicks this is the kind of transformation lean can make if understood and implemented properly in any organization right always if a better way of doing the work is found then the what you are practicing that immediately becomes a wasteful activities all of you understand now what is a waste right mm -hmm. if you still no if you still feel that no i what i am doing is only you know the correct way and then you know you, you have a long way to understand lean so lean is all about identifying and eliminating the wasteful activities when i keep on eliminating the wasteful activities i will definitely be you no know, uh, my i am trying to achieve you no know, i am trying to satisfy this equation what is this equation lead time is equal to value adding time whatever time i spend you no know, the lead time from order to delivery every single minute is productive when every single minute is productive the lead time is equal to value adding time when lead time is equal to value adding time your efficiency is 100% what is efficiency here comes the same metric process cycle efficiency what is process cycle efficiency value adding time divided by lead time value adding time divided by lead time if both are equal process cycle efficiency will be 100% but getting 100% no it's very difficult according to the studies it is understood that companies you know, who claim to be world class manufacturers and world class service providers they maintain a process cycle efficiency of 20% and above how much 20% and above that means still 80% of the work what they are doing is non value adding only so it is very important all of us clearly understand the difference between what is value adding and what is non value adding right so i think the example could have helped you to understand what is value adding and non value adding but still if you if you really wanted to gain a deeper knowledge i can give you one more method anything you are doing just ask yourself three questions ask yourself three questions if you get answer yes for all the three question then what you are doing is value adding then what you are doing is value adding in case in case one of the answer if it becomes if it becomes no then immediately understand what you are doing is non value adding the first question is that your customer is willing to pay for what you are doing if the answer is yes then it can be value adding let us talk about you know the uh, inventory you you maintain a lot of inventory and so you require a warehouse and you store a lot of material raw material finished goods in a warehouse will you be able to bill your customer for the warehouse charges no no but you are storing it for months together customer don't want to customer cannot pay for your no warehouse rent and other things he is interested only you know for the product he gets so whether you store it in the inventory or not it really no doesn't matter to him that means all your expenses in you no know, storing the material or any item in the warehouse is actually a wasteful activity that is why we consider inventory as a waste clear the first question itself you know helps you understand what you are doing is a waste with respect to the inventory some and the second question whatever you are doing does it helping you to transform your product from the current state towards the final state from the current state towards the final state let's say you are doing a machining some machining activity you are doing some you know turning is done some milling is done some hole is drilled there are many things it's all required is it really required to transform your product from the current state to the final state yes yes definitely yes so mm -hmm. what you are doing is value adding you should not stop doing it right do it 
do it at the best do it at the best mm-hmm. but let's say you know you are uh, you are producing a defective item uh, producing a defective item or let me give another example let's say you are doing inspection you are doing inspection is that your inspection activity transforms your product from the current state to the final state before inspection and after inspection is there a change no so what is inspection inspection is a non value add mm-hmm. so but can you eliminate inspection no if you can't eliminate reduce it if you can't eliminate your goal should yes. be to reduce it right don't you not know, going for 100% inspection no is always costlier thing right no you do a sample study and then do the inspection that's the, because we we wanted to do minimum of non value adding so the second question also understood does it transform your product from the current state to the final state now the third question are you doing it doing doing it right at the first time are you doing it right at the first time ask for yourself if you say yes then what you are doing could be value adding for example imagine you produced a defective item now ask yourself have you done the work right at the first no. time no you have produced a defective item that means it is no so producing defects defective items are non value adding whenever in doubt to understand whether what you are doing is value adding or non value adding just ask three question in order to classify your work as a value adding you must get yes in all the three if one of the question go, becomes no please understand what you are doing is non value adding that means it is a wasteful activity try to eliminate it if elimination is not possible goal should be reduce it whatever best you can do reduce it clear and now similarly and see lean many people think that lean is cost cutting many people think that lean is eliminating people definitely no lean is simplifying your process how it is helping you to simplify by eliminating the unnecessary steps in the process by eliminating the unnecessary steps for example if you drive a car in a traffic environment like this will it be comfortable driving the car in such an environment no. definitely no and uh, do you think your car will give you the expected mileage expected no. mileage is 15 km will you at least get half of the mileage no this is what can happen in your workplace also if you complicate the work if you mix up lot of non value adding stuff in your work your people will struggle to produce the result first of all they will lose the working comfort and number two they can't even produce results half of to their potential so what lean is telling you lean is not you no know, changing no or adi you know changing your resources or you no know, eliminating the people you bring the same car also bring the same driver you try to drive here now will the driving comfort improve with the same car with the same car driving comfort will be at its best a car which was expecting to give a mileage of 15 may even give 18 or 20 km here we have not made any changes so lean is not you no know, making changes lean is you no know, simplifying the work whatever you are doing knowingly or unknowingly you are doing lot of unproductive activities lot of unproductive work in the company if customer is not requiring it my question is why do you do it this is lean right so you can make your choice so this is how lean will help you to reduce the lead time how it is reducing the lead time by eliminating the non value adding activities there are number of tools like how six sigma was having faces and so many tools lean is also having so many tools a famous uh, tool is seven classic waste if you master and now again like ravi kumar my goal is not to teach you all the tools right now my goal is only to create some interest to understand to learn all the tools no sessions no certain experts will come and teach you but i am only you know telling you how the tools are going to be helpful seven classic waste these tools were introduced by japanese quality guru called taichi ono according to whom to him always there are seven types of waste that exist in any process in our training process also all the seven waste that exist you can shortly summarize it as tim wood or no it's an you can use the acronym tim wood where t stands for transportation 
I stands for inventory. M stands for motion. W stands for waiting. O stands for over production. Another O stands for over processing. Finally, D stands for defects. Right? And can you all understand? Now, by preferring to learn the black belt body of knowledge online, how many of you realize that we have eliminated a waste called the transportation? None of us moved from our place, am I right? Yes. All of us I are in that. place, but still learning is happening. Maybe in a much better manner, isn't it? And so, if we don't understand the existence of, you know, uh, a new way of doing, new way of doing the work, still believe in the old one, then there will be a lot of transportation waste. Clear? So, likewise, if you move your material here and there excessively, maybe from shop floor to warehouse, again warehouse to back to the shop floor, and no, again uh, shop floor to the distributor, distributor to retailer, and goes to the. There are many ways you are moving your item, you are transporting your item maybe within the factory or outside the factory, if the layout is poorly organized, there will be excessive transportation. So, optimize your layout design in such a way that a minimum transportation will get the task done. If there are no transportation, absolutely fantastic. Keep your warehouse next to the you know, manufacturing facility. That's all. No transportation. You produce and then store there itself. Clear? This is called transportation. Similarly, inventory. Anything you store, raw material, semi-finished or finished goods, these are all considered waste. More, uh, similarly, motion, M stands for motion. Whether it is material moving a lot or people moving a lot or machinery moving a lot, if there is an excessive movement, then what is required? That is called motion waste. Right? Again, uh, the motion waste can happen due to the poor layout due to the poor layout or due to the poor machine setting. If you set the machine badly, then also there will be an excessive motion. For example, I want to run a shaping machine. The shaping machine will have an arm. The arm has to move 100 mm forward, 100 mm backward to get the work done. But I have set it in such a way that it moves 300 mm forward and 300 mm backward. Can you realize the motion waste happening here in this setting? It has to move 100 mm come back 100 mm. But somebody set it in such a way that it can move 300 mm forward and 300 mm backward. In a day, thousands of times it moves. Do you think uh, time your time will be lost? Your cycle yeah. time will increase. Electricity will increase. No, electricity consumption will increase. And some accidents can happen because you are moving excessively. So, unnecessary motion, whether it is a part of the machine or the people themselves in certain, you know, certain offices, you have to go to the 15th floor and then come to the third floor and again go to the 14th floor to get your document approved. This is how it is you know, planned and there is a lot of excessive motion. Similarly, waiting is a waste. Waiting is a waste, isn't it? Uh, I have a question. Yes, please. Why this transportation and motion, why these are two different uh, uh, things? Whereas uh, it looks like same... Uh, like material movement or person movement or man movement. Yeah, you use a vehicle for transportation. Like that. Yes, you use a vehicle, maybe yes. a mini truck or no, uh, a big truck or sometimes a forklift truck inside the factory, isn't it? Oh, whenever yes. whenever you the, you move anything using a vehicle, you call it transportation. Right. But uh, but short distance, people will move. Material will move. Right? So the best uh, route is the shortest route. When will you get the shortest route? When your, when your plant layout is op no, optimized properly. Isn't it? So Can I come? Ah, yes. Sir, I am I'm putting my button on my shirt. I am putting a button on my shirt. That is motion. My hand is motion. I am going along with my shirt in a bus to my friend's place. So I am using transportation. That's all. Very good. All Thank right. You. Thank you. Yeah. See, you will see you are you are uh, you are doing a lot of transportation uh, waste only when you monitor. You might have a small forklift, uh, no forklift truck standing within your factory. But if you simply monitor the movement of the forklift from morning till the end of the shift, you will realize people could have driven your forklift 
for about no 300 kilometers but your factory is no only within 10000 square feet but how many kilometers the forklift was uh, driven few thousand kilometers how do you know only when you measure it so these kind of waste stages will definitely exist whether it is few thousand kilometers or few hundred kilometers you still have the responsibility to optimize it right it can be within the factory or it can be outside the factory also similarly waiting is a waste whether material is waiting people are waiting or machinery is are waiting or all the three are waiting together sometimes you know all the three might wait for the instruction to come waiting is a killer waiting is a waste isn't it by if the material is waiting for the machine to get ready your your organization is losing money and over production producing more than the demand or producing earlier both are waste over production is not only producing more than the demand producing early also so tomorrow there are 10 people in your family and how many idlis are required for breakfast tomorrow breakfast let's say 10 into 4 40 idlis are required but you have produced 100 can you understand you have there is a over production happening here only 40 is there a consumption but how many you produced 100 and it is a waste and one more way of over production instead of preparing the idli tomorrow morning i will prepare the idli today itself today night itself and now that is also a waste i produced early but when do i need the breakfast tomorrow only which is better way producing tomorrow or producing the earliest day previous day produce tomorrow tomorrow yeah. produce exactly when it is required that's how a philosophy called jit came just in time right that will Oh, uh, that will make you very very effective but you have to gain the capability to switch to philosophies like jit it's not that easy right and then over production is understood and over processing work according to the specification you are doing a painting two coats are required do only two coats third coat is not required for some reason you do the third coat now what you are doing in the third coating is a over processing surface finish certain level of finish is required but you are going beyond that do you think the customer will pay for the third coat which you applied because the requirement yeah. is only two coats so always stick to the spec don't if you go beyond that's called over processing and defects i know i know need to speak defects means is definitely a waste because it's a non conformance and tools like fivers fivers will organize your workplace in a easy to you know Uh, work it it will make you no know, the work environment more suitable to the worker keep things in an organized way and storage is easy as made easier retrieval is made easier that is nothing but fivers that will that will make you no know, the, the tools like fivers will help you to build a very good you no know, good culture towards continuous improvement because when you keep things in an organized fashion automatically you no know, problems will become visible am i right or not why do we keep our house neat and clean always because we wanted to be productive in our house whether we spend time with the family in the hall or we go to bedroom for sleeping it has to be neat and clean then only we can sleep same way when we keep our workplace organized the time can be spent to productively that is 5s and kaizen is doing lots of small improvement is kaizen doing lots of small improvement when a company is big and there are thousands of employees then there will be lot of problems isn't it and how can you expect a small team of quality department to solve all the thousands of problem instead of that can you make all thousand employees to solve thousand small problems that philosophy that idea is called kaizen there are no big problems there are only lots of small small problem if you solve the small all the small small problem a big problem will automatically solve logical this is called kaizen this is called kaizen kaizen projects are not like six sigma project kaizen projects are any small small improvement from security till ceo anybody can work can contribute to the kaizen project if you get an idea which is you no know, which can uh, assure an improvement implement it that is called kaizen and then uh, smed Single sir, ah uh, yes. Sir, ah uh, uh, we are talking about continuous improvement here. We are talking about five S Kaizen. So, ah, uh, do we need to understand? I mean, ah, uh, just the thought. 
uh, how is uh, how do we like you know take now lean sigma tools uh, lean lean sigma uh, uh, is what we are talking about and then uh, tqm is another uh, concept uh, are they uh, i mean are they the uh, uh, two different things and uh, how do they differ is something which i would like to understand here because these tools uh, like kaizen 5s and all again yes. uh, we use even in uh, tqm you are right see tools and techniques are common right tools and techniques are common but the framework is different here what is the framework dmac define measure analyze do and control right and uh, yes and uh, no tqm is another philosophy you are right tqm is another philosophy but uh, right. but here no we use we use you know a lot of uh, statistical approach and we work at the process level we work at the process level okay. to correct, to correct the problem uh, whereas those are all systems approach okay sir sir you can add yeah uh, i uh, let me add a, a few total means total total means okay. total of two things now hmm. we are talking about two different things one is lean and another is six sigma now do hmm. you know the difference between that and this six sigma is for improving the efficiency process efficiency probably yes. at the most we can improve by 2% that's okay. all whereas lean we can improve the efficiency by 20% hmm. because transportation is so much fuel is wasted we are marking the customer to pay for it even though he is not willing to pay for it we are forcing them because otherwise how will we make the profit inventory yeah. we are spending enough of money even though customer is not willing to pay for it i am also not willing to charge them we have to charge them to make the profit so if you see this savings in lean six sigma lean uh, 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 lean system we will be saving around 20 to 40 percent but still we right. see that it's very important because the development is taking place so much that we have to concentrate on six sigma so that we can retain the customer and satisfy the customer delight the customer the put together is, you can call it as a total so as a so so as a part of customer retention as a part of continual improvement only like you know i'll be using even tqm right so uh, yes. how do we differentiate that is that is where like you know I, yeah because when we are when you are talking about lean we are talking about eliminating all the waste so that all those overhead and whatever is not necessary unnecessary kind of things are like you know eliminated there so yes. uh, uh, that again i mean that again is a, a very good like you know uh, uh, management principle there now how do we uh, uh, how different is you know tqm this is where like you know i'm uh, 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 i'm failing to understand sir so oh, then then we let to know what is tqm right in my opinion hmm. if you say that if you if you overall total quality management is total quality that's all both quality okay. all the quality, all the principles are there no seven principles i talked to you in the morning eight yes, principles yes yes that is customer focus supplier focus now what is not included there which will come sooner is the government and society that also is to hmm. be included but that has never been hmm. included in the quality principle the quality principle okay. what we have so far talking about or the seven times seven items which is uh, employee come hmm. supplier improvement and then uh, the decision making and one more thing hmm. right so all leadership are, was there yeah. leadership this, relationship uh, management all those things were there one one second one second this is actually these are tools and techniques that we use in both or all non linear non linear in the sense what we can use here in one phase can be used in tqm in another phase clear okay so okay so that's what i was telling in the morning the tools and techniques that we are going to teach you are going to be useful for your lifetime anywhere 